Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the Everest Closers Corner. I'm Dr. Jason Deitch, and of course, we're here with Everest head trainer, Dr. Mike Southwick, aka Southie. What's up, Southie? Hey, doing great, doing great, man. You ready for this one? I'm excited for this one. Um, you know, you have sort of, I think, brought this whole idea of being a closer right. to the profession. And I know some people kind of maybe have that oh, you know, salesy thing, maybe some negative stuff to it. Uh, other people go, closer, what in the world are you talking about? Uh, and that's actually what I want to ask you today. What is a closer? So, so people get freaked out a little bit because it's a sales term, right? Okay. However, let me, you know, just preface it with this. I've got some friends that are MDs. Carl, who I teach with, his, one of his neighbors is an MD. Guess what those guys are all doing? They're going to workshops, right? to learn how to sell their procedures because deductibles are six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen grand, right? And people aren't just laying down on the table anymore. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So these guys, the MDs, are literally going to sales trainings because wow. what they think that their procedures are needed, okay? Uh, if well maybe some of them are once, right? But if you know they feel they're needed, okay, to save that person's life. But they're having to now sell them because the guy has to, you know, take his wallet out and throw down however many grand for the procedure. Um, I would say pharmaceutical reps, best salesmen in the world. They yeah. want everyone, everyone to have drugs in them. You know, I'm not even sure if they think that's the best thing. I just know that they want that. Okay, they want market share. Does that make sense? But okay. not chiropractors, dude. No way, man. We are too good. We're doctors. We're not salesmen. We're, you know, whatever. But at the same time, someone's looking at their out-of-pocket. I hear this every day. Someone, patients are looking at their out-of-pocket expense for that care plan and they're walking, right? So if they're walking, do you think they're going to just say, oh, you know, it's not that big a deal? Or are they going to go look for another resource? Yeah. And it's a drug, dude. Yeah. It's a surgery. It's a something because we didn't quote unquote, close their butt yeah. into the best healthcare product in the world. And so now they're back out on the street. They're going to go look for something else, which initially might seem, you know, like a drug cheaper, you know, aspirin, you know, and then you get into the pain pills and everything that's going to lead to a surgery and that's going to lead to a nursing home. So is it cheaper? No, no. not at all. But, you know, I got guys all the time, you know, I'm not, I'm a doctor, Mike, I'm not a salesman, you know, Hey, listen, if you've got the best product and you, you have an ethical, moral obligation to sell the snot out of that, I'm serious. And that's what we teach guys and gals to do. I love it. You know, it's interesting because uh, you actually making that case that medical doctors, the medical profession now has to do this themselves. Yep. Uh, and many of them are more than willing to because uh, I don't know if you call it confidence, arrogance or a combination of the two, but they have been trained very well from a very early stage that if you don't do what I'm telling you, you're going to die. Yeah. And, and, and that's with a very straight face and lots of conviction and oftentimes some you know, anger or aggression if you don't follow yeah. through, let yeah. alone pay up. The difference is that it used to be that patients would, for a whole variety of reasons, follow the path of least financial resistance. Totally. But considering deductibles being so high now, guess what? This happens to be a great thing for us. So the key is to learn what to say, what not to say. Huh? Dude. That's a big deal. What to yeah. ask and what not to ask. And that's why I'm really excited about your brand new downloadable uh, program that you're giving away for free. I yep. love the title too. How to get 90% of your new patients to say yes to your care. And that doesn't mean say yes at any price. That no. means say yes at your fee. And from what I understand, that's a pretty reasonable but healthy fee. That's good stuff, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, when when you're thinking, you, you, you nailed it on the head. I guess I can't say much more than that except, yeah, you know, gone are the days that we get chiseled too. Yeah. No way, man. No. Okay, we have the truth. We just haven't been able to sell the truth like we need to. Yeah. And that's why I get so stoked because most chiros, when they come to us, they're like, deductibles are so high, it's so bad. I was like, dude, are you freaking kidding me? Deductor deductibles are so high, that's so good, man. 
now everyone's on a level playing field and we can kick their butts on a level playing field. It's why I get so true. jacked up. It's like most of the time what you would see is something bad. No way. It's not bad at all. Man, that is just plays into our field. I love it. That is actually the best news I've heard all day. And, uh, and it is a very real issue. Something that we, I think, need to take as a incredible, incredible opportunity. So listen, if you've been to Everest and haven't been for a while, it's a great time to come back. Sure. Uh, if you've been and been recently and you're watching this, then this is our call to share this video with others you know should be sure. checking out Southie's video and maybe attending the program if they think it's right for them. But I always yeah. learned that selling is serving. That if you yeah. don't get them to say yes to your care, they're not taking up your care and that's not helping or serving anyone. So I'm not sure where the benefit is of not being a great closer and getting people to say yes to your care. Mike, uh, closing comments. What do you want people to do? Yeah, so I would say this. Um, if you've had one person on your table, you're a salesman, right? You've convinced them that um, what you have is beneficial for them, so you might as well put it on your card, right? Why but not? at the same time, if you don't have many people on your tables, you're just a really crappy salesman, okay? So let's just embrace the fact that we – that we're going to sell the greatest healthcare product on the world, and let's just sell the absolute snot out of it, I right? It. It's I the best it. thing we could ever do. I love it. I think absolutely the case. It's time we rise and shine. I don't think we're serving anybody by letting people walk out of our doors without inspire, inspiring them, not convincing, manipulating, uh, you know, scaring them, the whole thing, but getting them to understand the value of their health, the issues at hand, and how easy and affordable it actually is to invest now when the issue is because we know what happens over time, don't we? Oh, absolutely. I yeah. love it. I love it. Hey, listen, thanks for joining us for another Everest Closers Corner. Keep an eye out for more. If you've liked this edition, please click like, leave a comment, share it with others, and we'll catch you on another Everest Closers Corner. Thanks for watching. Yeah, perfect.